So, in the past, some of you have asked me about my more artistic looks. Obviously, this is very dark and dramatic. Um, in the past, I've done even more dark and dramatic. I don't know if you've seen Billie Eilish's music video for When the Party's Over, but she cries black tears. Um, at first I was really kind of grossed out a little bit, and then the more I watched it, the more sad and beautiful it became. And um, I've had other dark days where I just decided to positively release the emotions by drawing them on my face. Um, so while I was dark and dramatic before I go wipe this off, um, I thought I might show you how I do the tears and um, stuff like that. I mean, you basically kind of throw things at your face and <laughs> just stop when you feel done. Um, in the video, Billy's tears came from here. She actually had a, a liquid like dispenser that was erased post-production. Um, I, in the past, have started them out here, which, if you think about it, I mean, that's kind of the channel that tears follow. Um, so I have liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. Anything black will do. Anything any color will do. I, I was choosing black because um, I just wanted to. But the tip on this is very thin. So I actually would start down and then get thicker as I go up. And then I just do that a couple times. I'll put one in the middle as well. So you can see. I mean, they can follow any course. So it doesn't really matter. actually could pass for like spider webs and stuff too. Okay. So right now I just look goth. But if you act with your face, you don't have to think about a sad thought, but think about the way that your face feels when you cry. So. You can contort your face, but that's kind of like the point. I'm going to go even darker with the contour to make it even more striking. This is darker contour than I would normally wear. Not that I've gone out anywhere in the last few years, but I really want you to see how you can cut that whole part of my face out, really. This is a turtleneck, so it's like a little bit double chinny, but for the sake of a photo or an artistic expression, 
you just darken it up and it's kind of where the shadow falls naturally only exaggerated the camera also kind of shows it a lot different than in real life but contour here should be a shadow see how like the darker it gets the more it cuts shape into my face and if you do kind of draw your jawline too instead of being flat like this it becomes a jawline okay let me do a little nose contour i'm using a rather like dark brownish gray eyeshadow as contour i'm still kind of trying to find my ideal contour shade i'm starting to get there but I'm kind of experimenting with it right now and to have a dark distinctive one I, I know this works for that so anything that you darken will kind of make it sink back in space like suck it in whereas anything you put light on see how this is like shinier up here because that's where I put the highlighter on the highlighter is to get those spots on your face that would reflect light normally and exaggerate them. Okay, so it's the dark contour, the blush, which is kind of faded right now because I've been going over it, and then the highlight. And that just creates that extreme shape. That's a little far down. But you can make it whatever you want, right? So don't be afraid to experiment with it. Um, even like with the nose, the concept is if the top or the tip of it is lighter, the sides darker, it will kind of shrink your nose shape. The problem is it kind of only does that at like a few angles, um, at least that I've experimented with yet. So the other thing I haven't really played with yet is um, face paint. So I imagine you could actually drip dark paint or whatever color you want, you know, near your eyes and let it run down naturally. Um, this is pretty spooky. I like it. You can kind of get more intense. Not with lipstick on your teeth. Oh my gosh. This lipstick doesn't really dry very well. So, if you want to really get freaky with it, just run your hands through it. Take that inner emotion, that stuff you don't want to let out, and let it out artistically. Don't be afraid to look ugly to make a point. Hope this thoroughly freaked you out. Thanks for watching. Now I gotta clean it all up. I'm gonna take bets on how long this is gonna take me to get off. <laughs> Probably a really long time.